how did you decide? Well, there really wasn't any uh, other people on the list, and we were just hoping that they would say yes, because <laughs> we're such huge fans. And actually, when we, we went into casting, I'm being honest, like, we went to Ryan early on before we even had a script, and he was excited about the um, potential of a character that maybe doesn't understand his, his skills yet and by the end of the movie can realize that he has a certain set of skills and to be a superhero of his own. Um, and then when we were really building the character of Emily, we changed her in the script from... Yeah, right before we got Emily, we converted the Jody role from a makeup artist to a first-time director, thinking that it sort of raised the stakes for her. If all the pressure that goes into that big job that you're breaking the glass ceiling and then this guy shows up who like left you and like you don't know what to do and how, how that just kind of adds and elevates a really interesting complication to her journey and she read the rough draft of that and it was honestly a mess I don't know how we got her and thank God we did because then we were able to really grow it into its full self and and with her there and she's yeah. she only makes everything better she so. makes everything better yeah and coming up after dead Deadpool 2 after Bullet Train, what can yeah. people expect that would be different in this film? Wow, this, you know, all those movies um, have heart and they have a lot of heart, but I don't think we've ever had a romance like this in our films, in the 87 North film. So it was really exciting to play with that storyline and watch these two great actors bring this romance to life. And it's kind of like an old school romance. It's really sweeping and fun. And Yeah, for me, for me, this is David's, the way David would do a classic film forever for the books and um, it's still got all of his wildness and it's got all these different tones and stuff that he's balancing but it is certainly like lands in a really classic space which is really exciting we haven't done that before thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you oh yeah i just want to ask you real quick um you know it's premiering here on south by southwest like talk to me about how awesome that is and how great you feel having premiered here we are so excited uh, to be here at south by because seven years ago to this day um, we, we premiered Atomic Blonde here, which is another movie that's really dear to our heart um, and uh, really special movie. And um, this crowd was so receptive and it was like... Blew the roof off. It felt like a rock concert. <laughs> it was an awesome yeah. movie. It was, <laughs> it, it was an awesome movie. <laughs> so we thought like, you know, where do we want to go back to? Where do we want to release, release this film into the wild? And we thought, what better than the wild of South by Southwest? Let's go, guys. <laughs> well, congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.